Hello everyone, welcome back to Team Auto Trend Channel. This is your Viprajesh again, and today I am here with a very special vehicle. This year is BYD's latest Atto 3 electric SUV, which is likely to compete against every luxury SUV and electric SUV under rupees 50 lakh in the Indian market today. So today in this video, we are going to take a look at all the specifications and features of this BYD Atto 3, and how does it compare with some luxury SUVs as well? I am going to explain you everything, including the specifications and uh, overall capacity and the comfort as well but before that please make sure to subscribe to our channel as we provide detailed reviews of all variants of all cars along with regular news updates as well best of all you can also follow us on facebook instagram and twitter as well for regular updates and uh, of course show your support by please liking and sharing this video because your support is what keeps us motivated let's get on with the review shall we This video is sponsored by Boodmo.com, the spare parts expert. Any brand, any model, any spare part, they offer only genuine quality components along with the cheapest and more expensive options all at one place for you. You can check out their website at Boodmo.com or download the Boodmo app which is available for Android devices and iOS as well. You can search for the required spare part in the proper category from the scrolling menu on the home screen and you can also check out the available offers displayed on the home screen as well. Boodmo also offers return and refund assurance within 10 days of purchase. If you don't like the spare part, you can return it within 10 days without any hassle. Boodmo, the spare parts expert and quite literally the one-stop shop for all your automotive spare part needs. Today, this BYD Atto 3 has been provided to us by Kun BYD Showroom in Coimbatore. After the launch of the E6 electric mini MPV, the Atto 3 is the second launch of BYD in India. It aims to compete against all the electric SUVs and cars in India, starting from the Tata Nexon EV Max going all the way up to the Kia EV6. Currently, the BYD brand is successful in 29 countries while originating from China. Now let's talk about the design language of this Atto 3. To begin with, it has got a sleek and futuristic appeal to it, kind of like a mini Tesla. There is no need for a large grille at the front and instead of that, this car features a 4 metal aluminium like panel. As expected, this car gets all LED lamps with multifunctional DRLs while also featuring high beam assist. The bumper design is also quite futuristic and attractive, featuring quite tasteful glossy black detailing running across the width. Yes, this car also gets front parking sensors along with 360 degree surround view camera. Furthermore, this car also has got ADAS level 2 functions. Next, moving on towards the side profile, you get to see a coupe like overall silhouette. And in order to give you an idea of the size, the overall length is similar to the Hyundai Creta or the Kia Seltos. But still, the design language and the features give this car a much more premium appeal. The Atto 3 has got a ground clearance of 175 mm. But the most impressive thing on the side profile according to me is that the chrome detailing has been kept to a minimum level with only the windows getting chrome strips on the top and the bottom. The C-pillar also gets this interesting 4 metal panel with the ripple effect design. The main reason for the premium appearance of this car are these large 18 inch dual tone machine cut alloy wheels. And while they definitely look good, the design also helps in reducing the drag coefficient. On the front fenders, you also get to see this BYD design branding in the 4 metal strip and on the front right side fender, you get to see the charging port of this car. What has impressed me the most is the overall fit and finish and build quality of the exterior panels of this car. On the top of this car, you get to see a shark fin antenna along with a panoramic sunroof and while there are the standard silver finish roof rails, they are made of fiber and purely for aesthetic purposes. At the rear as well, this car looks seriously very attractive and futuristic as the tail lamps get sweeping function for the indicators, also being connected to each other with a light bar running across the width of the car. At the rear of this car only, you get to see the full form of BYD, which means build your dreams. So the exterior definitely seems to be impressive. Let's now check out the cockpit. 
yes folks we are right now in the cabin of this new byd ato 3 and this is how the interior looks like in the first impression it looks to be so very futuristic almost like a sci-fi vehicle uh, with a whole lot of features as well and some interesting design touches as well including best quality materials first of all you get to see this rather futuristic looking flat bottom design steering wheel with this flamboyant design on it and it looks properly very sci-fi you know with these aluminium touches and the scrolling knobs the buttons and all and the instrument cluster is another thing to be noted it is quite small as against to the latest uh, crop of instrument clusters on premium cars which are increasing in terms of size say 12 inch 13 inch 14 inch but this one is properly very small uh, but still it does provide you with all the essential details you need on such a car and then there is this talking point of the center touchscreen system which is i guess 12 inch and it is very nice and crisp i'll turn the car on to show you all that but before that let me show you the quality of the materials man i mean look at this interior everything is very nice very unique and uh, unlike any other car i have seen say even <laughs> around 60 lakh rupees this is seriously very very good and very unique uh, on top of the door pads and the dashboard you get very nice soft touch materials soft 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 and anti-glare so everything is quite nice but surprisingly on the mid part as well you get this satin type uh, leatherette I will, I'm not calling it leatherette but it is kind of a suede like material it is very nice and very very soft man and you also get this uh, ribbed kind of design over here on the door pads and the dashboard as well the same material runs across the width of the dashboard as well so yes this does uh, feel quite nice and premium very soft the dashboard mid pad but yes it is light in color so it will easily get uh, stained so uh, BYD also provides a sort of solution, a cleaning solution for this specific material, which is a must if you opt for this uh, BYD Atto 3. Then coming lower down and probably to the sides of the dashboard as well, you get these rather unique looking AC vents, which are claimed to be dumbbell shaped. Yes, they look like dumbbells. And at the center as well, this properly looks like a dumbbell from the gym. It is quite nice and very unique again you have a good range of adjustment these rings are the ac vents actually you can just uh, grab them and adjust very easy and very high quality and each of these ac vents have got their independent airflow control as well and it has also got nice clicking over there to turn it off and turn it on well it is quite nice so everywhere you get to feel the proper quality so quite nice and uh, another nice touch are the grab handles well guess where are the grab handles in this car Mm, nope no not on the armrest not over there not everywhere uh, yeah okay fine uh, you give up i understand so this here is a grab handle over here yes this is one seriously very well thought and very unique uh, grab handle i haven't heard of such a grab handle on any other vehicle over here you get three functions one is the grab handle which is also nicely leather padded on top and this one over here is the interior ambient lighting it just uh, say glows in multiple colors you can change the colors i'll show you that later on and over here at the center you actually have the tweeter for the audio system this vehicle has got nine speakers in total including a subwoofer probably so the audio quality is properly great and fantastic in this byd ato 3 that is a given for sure then on the door armrest as well you get to see this nice metal like finish running all the way from the front to the back of the door pad but this still is plastic it's not metal that said you have got the same uh, nice super pushy leatherette material on the armrest on the grab handle over here and good quality power window controls and mirror controls as well so everything is quite nicely detailed then another unique touch is this guitar lower down yes this is a guitar man because this is a speaker uh, and they have given it a kind of a guitar like look with these three strings and if you just run your fingers through them yes you can hear some sort of uh, musical note <laughs> it's quite interesting but i don't recommend you to do this often because it is uh, say tied down using these uh, bolts over there which may probably get loose but yeah this is quite interesting and unlike any other car i have seen and over here on the driver door itself you get the electronic button for the tailgate as well all right then uh, then coming to the actual parts actual functionality of this interior first uh, let's talk about this center console over here this also looks properly futuristic with this uh, toggle switch for the gear driver selector driving selection uh, for the drive reverse and neutral 
and you have the parking button over here which is quite interesting uh, but yes these will be illuminated only if the power is turned on so let me just do that so while turning on let me show you how does the display look like and that is how it looks like it just plays a short graphical movie with the byd logo d link and that's it yes everything is in blue properly befitting a futuristic appeal look and that is the interior ambient lighting everywhere on the surrounding of these uh, tweeters just over here on the top lining of the door pads as well and the same thing is carried forward over here as well just underneath the touchscreen system so uh, you well you have uh, multiple colors for the interior ambient load, uh, mood lighting but before that let me just get back to the center console yes here you get to see the parking button and uh, to engage reverse neutral or drive first you have to press this unlock button on the side of the selection lever and that's the drive engaged then we have reverse and once you engage reverse the 360 degree surround view camera system gets engaged automatically i'll just show you that uh, later on but uh, let me just uh, park the car again back into parking mode other switches and controls over here uh, operate multiple things in this car including this uh, scroller for the volume control that is the hazard button over there and this here is the power turning on button the motor start stop so that is over there and this here is the electronic parking brake with the auto hold button located over here this over here is the switch to control the regenerative braking effect if you uh, change the mode over there you can see that now the uh, regenerative braking is in standard mode if you push it up it's in high and now back to standard so you have only two modes for the regenerative braking then apart from that you have the blind spot monitoring system over here for the button for that and this here is the front parking sensor button and over here you have another off-road mode which i'll show you later on uh, but first let me just show you the multiple drive modes that are available with this car you have uh, the sports mode and then there is also the normal mode that is the economy mode as well so you have three different modes for the power setting of this car apart from that you have this off-road mode which uh, kind of uh, disengages the regular modes and engages better traction control program i guess so this is uh, indicated over here lower down uh, mild off-roading will be okay with this car i guess using this off-road mode then above that you get to see the front uh, windshield defogger and this here is the button to turn off the air conditioning and this here is the auto mode for the air conditioning and this one over here is the scroller for the volume control all right then talking about the volume control this touchscreen system controls a whole lot of things in this car for example let me just show you using voice commands first hi byd open sunroof whoa yep this vehicle offers a panoramic sunroof and not only it is a panoramic sunroof it is a voice activated pan panoramic sunroof which is quite nice uh, the controls the physical controls for the panoramic sunroof are located over here and these are also digital buttons uh, well these are not exactly buttons but they are digital controls so just touching them will automatically open or close the sunroof depending on your requirement quite nice again now apart from just the sunroof magic you have a whole lot of things as well hi byd set fan speed to level three got it setting fan speed to three yeah got it yep that's uh, american proper american english all right so yeah uh, as I already showed you, you can control the fan speed, temperature, media, radio, FM, navigation, whatever you want with this car using just voice command itself. And along with the air conditioning as well. So pretty nice. I mean, you have got everything, which is quite nice again. And other features in this uh, touchscreen system include the air con controls, which are located over here so that they are always visible. Uh, well, you can easily access them. Now, uh, this touchscreen system obviously offers Wi-Fi connection for which you can uh, connect to any phone, any smartphone with uh, data and you can easily connect to Spotify, navigation, whatever you want. It is just so easy. Then in this scrolling menu itself, you can see a whole lot of stuff, including the cars controls as well. You have the electronic stability control turning off button over here. It is a digital button in the touchscreen system instead of providing a physical button. So that is also there. And you have the control for the automatic headlamps, front parking sensors, energy feedback and inside lighting. Yeah, this inside lighting is quite interesting, man. Actually, you have the interior LED cabin lamps, which are touch based for the touch controls. Yeah, this is there. You can either turn it on by touching them or uh, just scroll this uh, menu down and turn on the inside light 
yep that's how it is done so everything is quite interesting but uh, after some time it just remains on so yeah what do you have to do again is touch them again to shut them off yep all right then other things include the dark mode it is engaged in dark mode now and this here is the day mode this is a brighter mode engaging the dark mode is better suitable for night driving conditions currently i prefer the dark mode so all right over there and you have also the option for screenshot yeah this is just like a smartphone man yeah so talking about smartphone like controls you have camera <laughs> yeah okay that is quite surprising i haven't seen a camera icon like a smartphone on any car's touchscreen before but this is quite useful man because this car also has got a camera mounted over here just behind the irvm what it does is it shows you just like a camera you just have to point the car to the proper direction and take a click yep that was a loud camera click uh, well if you want you can also turn off uh, see the camera shutter sound just like a smartphone everything is almost like a smartphone quite very unique unlike a car then you have also a video mode man so while driving you can also turn this on in order to uh, say record the car in front or some event that is happening in front of you in front of your car for emergency purposes or just for entertainment so which is quite okay uh, depends on your purpose and usage but in the settings menu we have a whole lot of controls again Yes, you have internet using which you can connect to some hotspot, Bluetooth. There is also audio controls. You have multiple settings for the audio controls: Hi-Fi room, live stage, off, equalizer. You have a whole lot of equalizer settings, and uh, media volume, phone volume. Yep, these are also pretty standard. However, on the sides, you get to see these icons over here, these options over here. This one is the D-Link, which is basically the regular internet connectivity, display software, and all those stuff. D pilot is basically to control the ADAS functions of this vehicle. Yes, this car gets proper ADAS uh, level controls including lane assistance, lane keeping assist, lane support system, high beam assist, ad uh, adaptive cruise control, autonomous uh, emergency braking, blind spot assist and everything over here. So regarding safety and ADAS functions as well, it is pretty well loaded. There's also the charging menu which can control the anti theft lock for the charging port and stuff like that yeah this is quite useful consumption shows you how much charge is being consumed while the vehicle is running and reset graph and all those stuff then there's also the vehicle setting menu which uh, shows you a whole lot of uh, comfort and convenience regarding stuff i already showed you that this vehicle has got comfort economy and sports mode however if you are driving in the comfort mode but still you want the steering feedback of the sports mode then you can individually set that and similarly you can also control the brake pedal re regulation so all this stuff is almost completely customizable even uh, if you switch to another drive mode you can customize it very easily then you have the interior ambient lighting control as i said you have got a whole lot of controls for the interior lighting itself including 60 plus color options as you can see you can control and change whatever color you like man i mean this is amazing stuff Yep, quite nice and uh, you can also change the area for interior lighting. I just prefer whole uh, vehicle. Brightness is also in the level 5. Dynamic colors, colorful. You have multiple themes as well. Sea of stars, tropical, colorful. So pretty much everything can be controlled using this touchscreen system itself including the auto fold functionality of the ORVMs as well. Yep, and AC obviously remote ac schedule yes using the smartphone you can also turn on the vehicle turn on the air conditioning uh, and you can set the minutes the timing for which the air conditioning will be on uh, and the economy mode comfort mode for the air conditioning as well and that's also the air purifier system integrated with this air conditioning wow okay quite a lot of stuff in this car man and apart from that you have the locking controls as well for the windows uh, doors and everything you have also got auto close windows even if you op uh, leave the windows open and leave the car lock it and once you lock the car the windows will automatically roll up so all these stuff usually we have seen only on premium cars but most of the premium features seen on premium cars are carried forward to this byd atto 3 <sighs> wow quite a lot of stuff man i am totally tired but still we have a lot of features to cover now let's check out the controls on the steering wheel over here first of all let me just show you what this button does this once pressed 
<laughs> yeah the landscape uh, type uh, task system is changed to portrait uh, type orientation and the same can be done using this digital button over here so depending on your preference of the touchscreen system if you want to drive like a tesla with a portrait style touchscreen you can have that as well so everything is provided in this car now uh, all these controls of the adas functions are located on the left side of the steering wheel including the lane keep assist adaptive cruise control and the distance for the adaptive cruise control can also be set using these buttons lower down and you have also the 360 degree surround view camera yep using this button you can engage that and this is surprisingly so high quality man so high quality uh, you can literally see everything outside every grain every lettering everything so everything is so nice and there are also multiple options of angles as well say for example rear view left view view right side view so total in this car there are five cameras apart from the 360 degree surround view four cameras you have also another camera on top behind the irvm well i guess that's it everything i have showed you i guess uh, yeah this car also has got electrochromatic auto dimming ir vm i have shown you the panoramic sunroof however i have not shown you the seats of this car man these are properly sporty looking and sporty comfortable super super high quality leather seats they are so large and plush and very comfy and it has got a triple tone interior theme to it color theme to it with the ivory white running on the center present on the center uh this is a perforated leather material but it is not ventilated sadly apart from the ventilation uh, seat functions this vehicle has got every feature you need that said there is also the blue theme running overall in this interior on the outer part of the seats on the dashboard top on the door pad tops you get to see the blue and there are also the red piping red stitchings everywhere super super comfy and great in terms of comfort quite uh, uniquely even the front seat of this car also get iso fixed child seat mount which is quite nice and unique man no other car provides this except for some very high luxury premium cars then talking about storage features yes this car also has got a wireless charging pad which is very useful even if you have such a thick cover on it and even if i place the phone over there it is wireless charging so very nice and useful then there are also the standard number of cup holders over here and this here is the smart key of this uh, auto 3 i'll show you that again later on when i open the tailgate and this armrest over here it is interesting in terms of design man auto claims to be that uh, this is a treadmill inspired design with the treadmill like pattern <laughs> running on it i don't know why they would be inspired by a treadmill but still it is over there and inside you have a whole lot of space on the inside you can see how much my hand goes inside man my hand goes inside well up to my elbow so that's how much huge space you have got on the inside the glove box though is of a pretty average decent size no complaints over there uh, and the door pads obviously provide large bottle holders with some document pocketing as well quite nice then then yes uh, the front seats both of the front seats including the driver and the co-passenger seat get power adjustment while the driver seat gets a uh, six way power adjustable function uh, the passenger seat the co-driver seat gets only four way adjustment with the absence of a height adjust for the co-passenger seat which is quite understandable while the driver seat gets height adjustment also included as a part of the six way power adjustment well then let's now check out the rear seat shall we Another unique feature on the BYD Auto 3 include this under bridge. Yes, the center console is actually designed like a bridge. On top, you get to see this uh, gear selector uh, things, the controls for the vehicle driving, and you also get the AC vents and the wireless charger. But underneath that, you also have actual charging sockets as well. Yep, don't be afraid that this vehicle gets only a wireless charging. because this also gets a regular c type usb port a regular usb port you also have a card reader over there just in case if you want to store all the videos and photos you have taken using the touchscreen system and you also get a old school 12 volt charging socket as well so uh, apart from this you also have another storage pocket over there man like if you want to store your small handbag or your uh, say chocolates or whatever you can store over there everything has been quite uh, nicely and neatly thought out in this byd auto 3 Not only in the front cabin, the Auto 3's rear quarters are also very impressive with respect to quality and comfort. Just like the front doors, the rear doors also get the same level of quality materials, soft touch panels and unique features. This unique looking door handle is quite a talking point. 
combined with the tweeter also providing interior ambient lighting and yes there are also 1 liter bottle holder pockets in the doors now taking a look at the rear seats of the ato 3 the same ivory white blue and red color theme has been carried forward here the rear seats get three individual adjustable headrests along with three 3 point seat belts while also providing more than adequate legroom and great comfort the overall support and width of the seat are also impressive while the rear occupants can be even more comfortable using this center armrest there are also two cup holders integrated into it what's more impressive is that this car has got a properly flat floor and there is not even a small tunnel over here which means even the center seat passenger will have a whole lot of leg room in terms of convenience features for the rear seat passengers you get two rear ac vents with the design similar to what we have seen at the front then coming lower down to the ac vents you also get to see two charging ports one regular usb port and one c type usb port oh yes it seems like byd has literally thought of everything now this is the view of the dashboard from the rear seat of the ato 3 Truly it is the design and quality of this interior which makes us think like this car is from the future. The whole host of features along with the design are definitely talking points compared to even some luxury cars. In terms of safety features this car offers ESP with traction control, hill hold and hill descent control, adaptive cruise control along with ADAS 2 level functions while also providing 7 airbags. Apart from the normal front airbags, curtain airbags and thorax airbags on the sides The driver seat alone also gets another additional airbag on the left side integrated into the seat itself. Truly along with all the space and comfort, the Ato 3 offers all the advanced features in terms of convenience. Let's now check out the boot space. Yes, we are not yet done with the features list of this BYD Ato 3 as at the rear this car also gets electronic power tailgate. You can either press the button at the bottom of the tailgate itself or you can double press the center button on the key fob. which will automatically open the tailgate now in terms of luggage capacity the ato 3 offers a bit more space when compared to mid-size suvs like the hyundai creta at 440 liters in terms of capacity this is definitely larger than most mid-size suvs the overall shape is also very square and easy to use it also has got better flexibility features for example you get an adjustable boot floor using which the boot floor can be adjusted to two different levels if you want a flat loading bay the floor has to be adjusted to the level 1 But while this boot area provides an LED boot lamp, it misses out on a charging socket or a bag hook. That said, on either side of the boot floor, you get to see small storage pockets with netting, which may come in handy while storing small items. Next, you may hope that I will be showing you the spare wheel of this car, but no, once you open the boot floor, you don't get a spare wheel. Instead, you get some more extra storage pockets along with the tire puncture repair kit. Sadly, this car does not get a spare wheel at all. Now in case if you want additional luggage space this car obviously offers 60 40 split folding rear seats with the back seats folded and the floor level adjusted to level 1 you get a properly flat loading bay good enough to load your furniture Now let's close this tailgate however again I am not going to use the button on the tailgate as double pressing the tailgate button on the key fob itself will also close the tailgate if you want Now let's check out what's under the bonnet of this car. Yes, this is an electric car, so what interesting could be there under the bonnet? That is the question which came to my mind. However, the first interesting thing regarding the bonnet of this car is that it does not have a secondary latch. All you have to do is simply pull the lever in the cabin and just open the bonnet. Now under the hood of this car, you get to see the permanent magnet synchronous motor mounted quite low on the chassis, thus reducing the center of gravity, I guess. Moreover this also can be claimed as the most powerful electric motor in this category. Mated to a 60.48 kilowatt hour battery pack, this motor can produce 150 kilowatt or 205 PS of maximum power and 310 Newton meters of maximum torque right from the word go. Now as a result of this, this Ato 3 can do 0 to 100 km per hour dash in just 7.3 seconds. Surely I will be bringing you a proper detailed drive review of this BYD Ato 3. Next let's talk about the charging and battery capacity of this car. The BYD Ato 3 is significantly more advanced compared to most electric SUVs we have in India today which means it also gets high power charging options. This charging port flap itself has got a separate locking mechanism. The top level charging port is for regular AC charging. Using a regular 15 ampere AC charging port will take up to 10 hours for a 0 to 100% full recharge. 
Then the lower second part of the charging port has to be used only while DC charging at the fast charging station. The Ato 3 can take up to 80 kW fast charging capacity which will take just 50 minutes from 0 to 100% recharge. When you buy the BYD Ato 3, they will install a 15 ampere charger unit at your home. However, it has to be noted that the Ato 3 does not come with a portable charger and that is available only as an option. The Ato 3 comes with BYD's latest blade battery technology, which is also claimed to be one among the best electric vehicle technologies in Asia. The ARAI claimed range for the BYD Ato 3 is 521 km. However, it is safe to expect a realistic 450 to 480 km of real life range. BYD also provides 160,000 km or 8 years of warranty for the battery, motor and motor controller. Now let's talk about the pricing and value of this car. So folks, that was a detailed walkthrough of the new BYD Ato 3, which is BYD's latest product for India. This car provides an impressive 521 km of range with the advanced blade battery technology. Moreover, it also provides a whole lot of features, best safety features, while also providing more than enough comfort and good boot space. This definitely is a more advanced product compared to the Hyundai Kona or the Tata Nexon EV Max. Now, despite being so impressive, the Ato 3 is significantly more affordable compared to the regular 5-seat petrol SUVs from BMW or Mercedes-Benz. This makes it a proper all-rounder electric car. Do let me know in the comment section below what do you think about this BYD Ato 3. Meanwhile, this is Viprajesh signing off. See you on another video. Thank you for watching.